Welcome to BT Buzz, your daily dose of entertainment news. I'm Nikki Makatini. Following the death of Alton Sterling, a number of celebrities have come to the forefront speaking out against police brutality in America. Now, Alicia Keys and 22 other black American celebrities, namely Beyonce, Rihanna, Chris Rock, Pink, Janelle Moneo, Taraji P. Henson, Bono, Swiss Beats, and a couple more have come together to create a campaign called We Are Here. The campaign is aimed at highlighting the 23 people who have lost their lives due to police violence in the last few years. Failing to signal a lane change. Riding in your girlfriend's car with a child in the back. Running to the bathroom in your own apartment. Way to go, guys. Aluta Continua. While Oakland Park continues to brew with cloudiness, Timo Taj probably thought he was irreplaceable. But Metro FM just showed us that the show must go on. Despite rumors of Samiza replacing the African Diddy, the radio station has roped in 9 to 10 hosts Mo Flavor and LKG to take over the show. Looks like the tour is set to start hosting the afternoon drive as soon as Monday. Tell us what you think of Mo Flavor and LKG replacing Timo Touch on Metro FM at hashtag BETBuzz. The 2016 SP Award kept it all the way real. The show opened with a call to action by NBA superstars for athletes to take a stand against police brutality. Basketball player LeBron James, who won the award for the best male athlete, said in his speech, I know tonight we're honoring Muhammad Ali, the GOAT. But to do his legacy any justice, let's use this moment as a call to action for all professional athletes to educate ourselves. We all have to do better. That's it for today. I'm Nikki Makatini. Have a fantastic weekend and keep it locked to BT Buzz for more entertainment news.